I'm convinced you can beat it, but it's hard to fight because it's been with you for so long. And there it is. The Parkinson's disease fight is happening on all fronts. From the doctors. Now it's very common we'll see someone who's isolated, who is afraid to fall, and so they stay at home. They're worried that they'll be embarrassed by their tremor in public. To the founder of Delay the Disease, David Zid, a national exercise program developed first in central Ohio, fighting Parkinson's every single day and one step at a time. That's what we're looking for. If you're doing something that's not going to get your heart rate up, guess what? Not going to get much out of this. The fight is very much on for patients like Pat Merriman. I got this tremor in my right hand in 2006. That diagnosis hit like a ton of bricks. Alone, afraid, just, I mean, just all these emotions that came in. And it's like, you just don't know. But then Pat and others found their way here to a weekly delay the disease class. What we become is more than people with Parkinson's. We become, you know, friends. We call this multitask walking. People that do the best are those who exercise and keep traveling and keep hanging out with friends and family. Movement disorder neurologist Dr. David Hinkle says when patients get moving, get motivated to fight, it can do even more than the medicine he prescribed. I get a very good feeling when someone comes in and says, hey, you know, I, I did start exercising and I held off for a while, I've started doing it, and before you even ask me a question, let me show you how I'm walking or let me show you how much better I'm doing. I'm better in my attitude, I'm better in my health, I'm probably more healthy than I was five years ago. Because I'm, I guess, you know, the exercise and the walking and the camaraderie. To learn more or to find classes, go to DelayTheDisease.com.